Before I start today's video, I want to give a special shout out to one of my subscribers, Kareem Hazen. I hope I didn't butcher that, for giving me the idea for this video. Originally, this was going to be a video discussing the differences between the Omnitrix and the Ultimatrix. But when I started doing the research, it spiraled into, well, this. Thanks again, and let's get into the video. Before we discuss the Omnitrix and its many counterparts, we must talk about the weapon responsible for the device's creation, Ascalon. Centuries before the Omnimatrix came into existence, there was the sword Ascalon. This weapon is extremely durable, being able to survive the explosion of an entire planet, can create energy blasts, force fields, create an armor around its user, and is strong enough to defeat a Vaxasaurian. When Azmuth looked up at the sky and saw a planetary system that had been in perfect alignment, the thought of Ascalon sprang into his mind. A weapon with the intention to tap into the fundamental forces of the universe. Although his mate at the time, Zenith, warned him about such powers, Asmuth then let his work get the best of him. He was so focused on building Ascalon that he hadn't noticed that Zenith had left him. Ascalon would be stolen with the intent to end an eon long war between the incursion race, but this resulted to the destruction of their world, leaving the incursion without a home and scattered across the universe. Realizing the damage he had caused, Asmuth dedicated his life's work to his peaceful inventions, which led him to create the Omnitrix, in hopes that Zenith would notice this and return to him. The Unimatrix was one of Asmuth's early prototypes of the Omnitrix. The Unitrix can absorb and contain the various DNA of many different species in the universe. For protection reasons, it was intended to animate itself and take on the appearance and abilities of the uploaded DNA within. When the device was suddenly lost, the Unitrix's pod was tracked down after it crash landed on Earth in possible search for an Omnitrix core such as itself. This device would then accidentally upload the DNA of Gwen Tennyson and randomize it, becoming self-aware and create a body for the now herself known as Eunice. Adopting a caring and loving attitude, Eunice would then go on to assist Azmuth, being stationed on a planet he created known as Primus, to tend the DNA samples within the codon stream. The Omni Matrix, originally known as the Megawatt, short for this, was created for the sole purpose to enact peace between the many species of the universe following the destruction caused by Ascalon. The Omnitrix is level 20 alien technology that can revive an entire alien race and transform its user into one of 1,913,000 alien species. However, it is not able to accept the DNA of magical creatures or cybernetically enhanced beings. For simplicity's sake, these beings are categorized in their respective playlists in sets of 10. Having enough power to transform its user in an instant without them having to feel any pain during this transition, the Omnitrix absorbs the wearer's clothing through nanotechnology and stores them within itself or reconstructs them to fit whatever alien species the user currently is. The watchlock device's main purpose was for inner species understanding in order to prevent war or other disasters. This device is connected to a wireless receiver to the organic planet-like machine known as Primus. This highly vegetated area is home to the Codon Stream, a database for the Omnitrix, containing the DNA samples of every species within the watch. The Omnitrix communicates with the Codon Stream, passing information back and forth in order to attain the information that allows the user to transform. Due to the destruction Ascalon caused, if the Omnitrix were ever to land in the wrong hands, it had a self-destruct mode, but if that timer had built up long enough, the power would be so great that it could take the entire universe out with it. Another failsafe was the timeout function. When activated, the watch gave the user 10 minutes before powering down and entering recharge mode. 
This was a precaution so that the alien DNA wouldn't override the users and keep them stuck in that form. Before its destruction, this device had many functionalities, including being able to scan the DNA of an unknown life form, a two-way communication system, a universal translator. It also functioned as a GPS, and if the user were in peril, it would instantly transform them into the correct specimen to survive in that moment. The Ultimate Omni Matrix, better known as the Ultimatrix, is an incomplete version of the Omnitrix that resembled more of a gauntlet than a watch, unlike its predecessors. Created by Albedo of the Galvin, this device had an evolutionary function that when activated, ran the DNA of the alien in current use and evolved that transformation in a worst case scenario for about a million years modifying the DNA and turning the alien into a heavy combat based life form. As mentioned before, the Ultimatrix was incomplete, which resulted in the user turning into an unwanted transformation than the one they intended to. Whenever the user transformed into said species, unlike the Omnitrix, the transformations weren't according to the user's age, but only turned them into the prime sample of the species. The Ultimatrix has the same functionalities as the Omnitrix, although it was much more complex to use and stated by Asmith, regardless of the evolutionary function, less powerful. The Gauntlet is able to sense high radiation levels, one of the few functions the Omnitrix seemed to not be able to do. Although the Ultimatrix is faulty and could be easily hacked or removed, it has been said that Albedo installed many other hidden functions within the device that are still unknown today. After he removed the Ultimatrix, Albedo has since been trying to find an alternative to stabilize his transformations, leading him to recreate his previous device. Resembling a type of fingerless glove, the recreated Ultimatrix, although bearing the same name, is vastly different from its original counterpart. Prior to its creation, Albedo couldn't access his true Galvin form without reverting to his default human form, causing him to set out and retrieve a polymorphic crystal, which he inserted into the device to stabilize his transformations and have the ability to evolve those forms as well as allow the device to run forever. As mentioned before, this device is a stabilizer and cannot scan new DNA, meaning this Ultimatrix does not have the exact number of transformations within it as the Omnitrix does. The only additional function that this stabilizer has with its predecessor is that it can allow the user to instantly and directly transform the user into an alien's evolved form without going through their base form. The successor to the original Ultimatrix is the second Omnitrix, a device Asmund had been working on since the original Omnitrix crash landed on Earth. This new Omnitrix could do everything the original could, but with a few added features, including a randomizer function. Unlike its original counterpart, this Omnitrix has a touchscreen and holographic interface and is not connected to Primus, much like the recreated Ultimatrix and the Unitrix. Due to the technical glitches of the original Omnitrix, as well as the Ultimatrix that caused the user when an alien form to appear unclothed, Asmuth reformatted these mistakes and glitches within this new creation. The new Omnitrix's artificial intelligence is also more advanced than its predecessor, being described as having a mind of its own. This watch's failsafe has a far greater reaction time, turning the user into whatever alien they need to survive a deadly situation in an instant before they could die. But as superior as this device is, it still has its faults. Hitting the core down too hard when activating a transformation sets the timeout function to a random duration. But what this device lacks in duration makes up with a near instant recharge time that only takes seconds in contrast to the predecessor's 10 minutes. Asmith is the smartest being in 5 galaxies, with Dr. Psychopos debatably being a close second. Prototype 71 is the 71st attempt out of many the Cerebral Crustacean has made to create his own Omnitrix. This device actually worked being able to alter its user's DNA and transform them into various species of aliens, 
although the alien forms themselves would have deformities. For example, a tetraman with the capability to only use three of their arms, or a pyronite unable to control fire. In addition, the more the watch was used, the harder it became to control the transformations, causing the user to uncontrollably jump from alien to alien before completely timing out and running out of power. The Nematrix, originally known as the Predatrix, was one of Psychobos' few if not only successful attempts at creating an Omnitrix, using incomplete blueprints. This hexagonal device is level 19 technology just below the Omnitrix, only containing the DNA of feral or non-sentient creatures, mostly predators of the life forms within the Omnitrix, being created solely to destroy asthma. Like the Omnitrix, the Nematrix has a timeout function, it can store DNA, and much like the Ultimatrix, it has the ability to evolve its creatures, which is a feature Albedo added during his partnership with Kyber the Huntsman. If used by a sentient being, the Nematrix would cause them to become uncontrollable and override their DNA turning them into an alien hybrid. Created by both aliens with some of the most smartest minds and Ben Tennyson in a possible future, the Biometrix are two separate lightweight gauntlets on each of the user's wrists. Although these omnitrices can be used separately to turn the user into one normal alien, they are mostly used to transform the user into an alien fusion, with either voice command, just a thought, or slamming the two omnitrices together, these linked devices activate and fuse the transformations activated in both gauntlets. And those are all the omnitrices known within this universe. If you'd like to learn about the functionalities of the Omnitrix within the Reboot Universe, also known to us here as Dimension 10, you can click here to discover how it differs from its original continuity counterpart. This month is Ben Tennyson's birthday and also the anniversary of the first episode of the original series. So for the occasion, for the entire month, the next few videos will mostly be focused on our Hero of Heroes. Thank you all for watching, happy Ben Sember, and I'll see you when I see you.